After rescuing the mechanic from the dungeon, things were peaceful for a while. All the neighboring villages were doing well, and Wendy and her father went back to focusing on the farm. However, several weeks later, Wendy's father suddenly came down with a serious illness, as if he had been cursed or poisoned. He would go in and out of consciousness, continually mumbling about a monster and the underworld. So Wendy decided to go down to the underworld and investigate. As she got close, she started hearing the terrible noises of an underworld fiend. Maybe if she could defeat this monster, the sickness that so suddenly plagued her father would be cured. Either way, Wendy was ready to fight. Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Master Mode Let's Play episode. We are doing a melee only playthrough and we just defeated Skeletron. We went through the dungeon. We've got the Knight's Edge. We've got all sorts of good stuff and we are pretty much ready to go to fight the Wall of Flesh. The things we need to do before we can do that are grab just maybe a couple more accessories before we go into hard mode. I do want to find the glove accessory from the jungle, and I also want to find the ice gates, but we'll go spend a few minutes trying to find each of those. The other thing I want to do is craft an arena because I want to try using the Star Fury against the Wall of Flesh, which will require tons of sticky bombs, and we're going to have to blow up the roof. So we'll need to do quite a bit of preparation before the Wall of Flesh, but I think it's going to be an awesome episode. Before we start all that, I wanted to craft the Obsidian Skull and we can combine that with our obsidian shield. And now we have an awesome item that can reduce our knockback. So let's go ahead and put that on. So in the jungle, I wanted to purchase an imbuing station. I think that would be good to have. And we can play around with that and see if there's anything we can craft. Here we are at our other grassland base and there's the zoologist. So let's see what she's selling. Ooh, we've got the guide to critter companionship. And this prevents you from hurting critters while in your inventory. So I think I definitely want to put that on. And that way we don't end up killing critters accidentally. And then she's selling a rideable flamingo mount. Let's buy that as well. And then let's go ahead and try this flamingo mount. <laughs> it's actually pretty fast. <laughs> it's cool looking too. Oh, nice. We have a cat that just arrived. So now let's assign the cat to our little living room. I think it would like being near the fireplace and everything. Some of the commenters recommended that we craft some flasks and that will be helpful against the wall of flesh. Any extra damage we can do would be great. So we just need our imbuing station, which we bought. And for the poison flask, we can use stingers. And for a flask of fire, we can use hellstone. And the rest of them, I don't think we'll be able to get until hard mode. Okay, it looks like we don't have enough Hellstone, but let's do a few Poison Flasks instead. I think it's time that we explore a little bit more of our ice biome, and we can take a look and see... Oh, there's the dog! Maybe we should leave the dog here. That's kind of cute to have the dog in the snow biome, because it's a kind of a snow-looking dog. Okay, so let's go ahead and start digging down into the ice biome and see if we can find some ice gates. It would be really nice if we could build our arena out of ice because then we could run super fast and avoid the wall of flesh even easier. Although I don't think speed's going to be that big of a deal for us, but it still would be pretty nice to have. And this will be a good way for us to collect lots of ice blocks. Oh, and it looks like our ice biome connects over to the dungeon right there. Good to know. Sweet, we just found an ice chest. And we have a blizzard in a bottle. And we just got another chest already. This one has another ice blade. So it has been probably two, maybe two and a half hours. And I was starting to lose a bit of hope because let me show you just how much I explored in the ice biome. <laughs> Look at that. I got so many ice chests, but I did not end up getting any of the ice gates that I was looking for. So I think we're just going to have to go ahead and assume we don't have any ice gates in this world, unfortunately. So I went to the jungle and I've been exploring the jungle quite a bit. And I finally found the feral claws. So let's go ahead and loot those. It increases melee speed. And the main thing is that I need it for an upgrade later when we get into hard mode. 
and I figured it would be just better to have that before we go into hard mode. Now that we have those items, it's time to head down to the underworld, and let's go see if we can find a few of the shadow chests, and then we can start working on our arena. So let's head down to the underworld. The main thing I'm looking for right now are the shadow chests, but the pots are also pretty good to get. I think I remember seeing a shadow chest over this direction. Yeah, there it is. And we get so many good potions from these. And the first thing we got is the treasure magnet. It increases pickup range for items. Very cool. I've never seen that item before. Plus a life force potion. Very good. And let's see. Oh, we got another treasure magnet. We just finished the left side checking for treasure. And we didn't really find that much more. We did find this cool potion of return though. That's a new thing for 1.4. This one is really cool because it allows you to teleport home and then it creates a portal and you can return to where you were by using the portal. So you can do a round trip teleport. We have three treasures all right next to each other. I've literally never seen anything. This, this is the weirdest little spawn too. It's a tiny little house with three treasures in it. That's crazy. Unfortunately, we didn't get any melee stuff, though. That's so cool to open three of those chests all right beside each other. In 1.4, it seems like I'm getting so many more fire blossoms in the underworld. I think they increase the spawn rate of them or something. Because I used to never find that many. And we have another magnet. Ooh, we have a pet shadow mimic. Let's go ahead and summon that. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty cute, although I really don't like when I have a pet that looks like an enemy, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So what we're going to need to do is break these towers here, and then we're going to also need to probably use some sticky bombs on the stuff above us to destroy the ash and ceiling of the underworld. It will allow our star fury to do the proper damage, and we won't be hitting our stars into the ceiling, and so that's really important. So we're just basically gonna have to spend a while bombing out all of this stuff. And once we have all that done, we will be good to go to fight the boss. We'll put a platform down as well. But yeah, this is going to take quite some time and I'm probably going a little bit higher than I need to right here. I'll probably stick it a little bit lower and then just try to build my platform pretty low in the underworld. I think we got most of the shadow chests. I don't know if there's gonna be any more of the little towers over on this side of the map. Looks like we got a blood moon. This is actually pretty good. We can farm up some enemies and hopefully we will get a shark tooth necklace. That'd be nice. Or even one of those piggy banks that you can summon. That would be perfect. But we probably need to get these guys away from our base so we don't have anyone messing with our NPCs or our cat. Well, we just finished the event and we managed to get our money trough, which is amazing because that means we don't have to put down platforms to access our piggy bank anymore. It has been quite some time and I've done a lot more farming and I also built an arena down in the underworld. So we are pretty much good to go. One of the things that I had to do is go to a different world in order to find ice gates because we explored our entire ice biome and I don't think there were any more chests and we didn't have any ice gates in this world. We also found the cascade while we were in the underworld and we also found the skeleton merchant since I last was filming and I bought the blue counterweight. So the next thing I wanna do is combine our lightning boots with ice gates. And what that will do is give us speed on ice and the arena that I built is all ice. And so this will give us a ton of extra speed during the wall of flesh. And now we just need to pick up all of our different potions that we can use during this fight. With these buffs and the campfires that I have down in the underworld, we should be pretty good. And we're basically just going to use Star Fury and try to dodge. And I think this is going to go pretty well. So let's also activate this buff right here. And let's head down to the underworld and start fighting the Wall of Flesh. So here is our arena. We cleared out so much stuff in the underworld, and you can see we've got plenty of space for our Star Fury to do its thing. 
I think we are good to go. So let's apply our buffs and let's drop the guide voodoo doll and let's get this started. Okay, now we can start doing some hits. We probably have them a little bit too far off the screen. Although we're still we're still landing hits right here. We're actually doing really well. Dang, we're doing some good damage here. Yeah, this is the way to do it on melee class. And we're far enough away that we can dodge stuff pretty easily. I'm actually probably a little bit too far away. Man, I don't even think I needed Frostbark boots at all for this. Okay, I think we're gonna be good to go, man. It's so easy to dodge these lasers too when we're this far away. And we're already down to 50%. Well, at least we're going to have lots of buffs when we enter hard mode. <laughs> we might as well go break some altars and stuff right away. Because we're going to have so many buffs active. I never knew Star Fury was this powerful against the Wall of Flesh. This is incredible. There we go. Man, I don't even think I needed to use a potion at all that fight. Let's hope for some good stuff from this right here. Let's see what we got. We got the relic and we have a treasure bag. So let's open that up and we got a demon heart. So let's do that and a warrior emblem on our first try. That's amazing. So now we've got 15% increase to melee damage. This is so interesting. Our Crimson got hit by the Hollowed. Wow, that's so weird. I've never seen that happen. That is so interesting. We've got a Hollowed Crimson mix over here. Very cool. And let's start breaking stuff. We got Cobalt. And let's see what we got. We got Mithril. And for the last one, we got adamantite. Fortunately, titanium and adamantite are pretty similar now. So it's kind of nice because before titanium was just so powerful compared to adamantite. It's always so much fun to do hard mode right at the beginning with all these upgrades that we can get and we're so weak. Oh my goodness, we have so much cobalt. I think this is gonna be enough to craft a cobalt pickaxe. This is great. And our character is surprisingly strong for just entering hard mode. Like, we're doing pretty good damage against all these enemies, even using just pre-hard mode weapons like the Enchanted Sword and the Knight's Edge. There's a lot of items that I think I want to try to acquire right off the bat. So I'm thinking a good one to get would be the Icicle. Also, we could get the Ice Brand, maybe the Beam Sword. There's lots of really good ones. We're going to need to farm up some Mimics for sure. So there's a ton of stuff to farm early hard mode. Let's head back to base, and then maybe we can go to the other side of our map and go to the other crimson biome and smash the other altars. But look at, we already have the fast clock and the megaphone. So we are making good progress towards having the onk shield, which I definitely want to craft in this playthrough. Okay, so now that we have our cobalt ore, let's go ahead and craft that into cobalt bars. So I think we're already good to go for crafting a cobalt pickaxe. We can also do a cobalt drill. I kind of want to do that instead because I've heard they've buffed drills. So I think that'll be a fun thing to try. I don't think we've ever been down this one. I don't think I've ever used a drill in Terraria, to be honest. It's kind of nice, though. Something new. And we got some more adamantite. Perfect. Let's maybe break, like, three more altars. Wow, we've got so many wraiths down here. This is insane. Okay, let's go see if we can find another altar up here where the wraiths are a little bit less prevalent. Okay, there's an altar right down there. 
let's go ahead into this tunnel right below our base and let's find some mithril. That might be mithril right over there. Uh, it's a little bit hard to get to. It might also be just cobalt. So let's just see what we got down here. I must say, I don't like the noise that this drill makes, but it's fast, so it's kind of nice. It's kind of weird. Mithril and Cobalt look a little bit similar, but Mithril's kind of got more bubbly looking texture to it. And Mithril's kind of like a lighter blue. Whoa, we're already taking so much damage just from little bats. Ooh, yeah, I'm just gonna skip past this biome because I have a feeling it's going to mess us up so quickly. So let's just go down to, um, yeah, let's just keep going down into the underworld. My plan is just to kind of go along the roof here and then just pick up as much stuff as we can find. And this is a good area to explore as well because this is where you can find lava charms. And if we can find a lava charm, we'd be able to get our Terra Spark boots. So that would be pretty awesome. But I know lava charms are so incredibly rare that I'm not really counting on getting one this playthrough. I think maybe we should grab this mithril right above us, and then we can probably go back to base and we can get our next tier of pickaxe. Now we've got 26 mithril bars and a mithril pickaxe is 15. So that's perfect. Let's go ahead and switch that off. I forgot to do a drill. I'm so used to doing pickaxes. And maybe we can grab a mithril sword as well. That could be a nice thing to try. Oh, but it's broken. Maybe let's try to go reroll that really fast. So our mithril sword has auto swing, and I think this is gonna be a great weapon to use. Okay, here's our next bit of adamantite. So let's grab this. Ooh, we've got some more adamantite and a big clump of it too. It's kind of interesting because this seems to be about the fastest I've ever climbed through the armor tiers right after hard mode starts. We're just making really efficient progress here. I think we're going to be able to go right to adamantite with how much we're finding. I guess breaking a few more altars really made a difference. And maybe 1.4 has added extra adamantite in their worlds or something. I don't know. Man, I'm really loving this mithril sword. I don't think I've ever crafted one. Okay, so we're back to base now, and we've got tons of good stuff. So first things first, we need to craft our adamantite forge, which is just a health forge and 30 adamantite ore. So let's place that, and hopefully we can craft quite a bit of adamantite. Oh, man, I was hoping for more. We have 35. Maybe we can craft the helmet and the legs. Now our defense is quite a bit more. We bumped our defense by like 20, I think. I think this is a great place to end the episode. We've defeated the Wall of Flesh, and we've got our guide back. He's looking nice and healthy and strong. Um, we've got all of our new weapons, like the Mithril Sword and our Cobalt Spear. Looks pretty sweet. And we've also got a little bit of Adamantite stuff. So in between episodes, I think what I'll do is farm up the rest of the Adamantite and hopefully I'll be able to farm up one or two of the weapons that we need to acquire because there is going to be so much stuff that we need to do to prepare for our first mech bosses. I hope you all have been enjoying this series so far. It sure has been fun to play 1.4 on Master Mode. And if you have been enjoying the series, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.